So this is a video on sewing up Blair the Scorpion. Now, originally designed for Dye Club, she was in this absolutely iridescent um, shade of fluorescent. Um, but I've remade her here in Camel. Um, and it's just going to be a little video about how to put all the bits and pieces together and do the slip stitch traverses on the tail to hold that tail in position. So what I've got here is the body and then I've got three tail pieces secured already. I'm going to take my um, fourth ball one. Now I've stuffed these first. Um, so they are stuffed. I'm just going to gather the stitches like we normally do. And this is what I've done on the three that are already attached. So gather those stitches to close it off and then sew it onto the end. And I've not gathered that one yet. So I'm going to gather that one. And then I'll sew directly through that piece as well. So there's that next one. I'll go directly through the middle. Might take a little bit of um, pushing through if you've got plenty of stuffing in there. So one, two, three, four. Then you've got a long piece to go in, which I'll sew on at the same time before you put your pincer on the end. So all I'm gonna do is sew between both pieces like that around that last round and that first round. There we go. And then with the end that I left down here, I'm going to sew that into position two. And as you can see with the tail, what I'm actually doing is I have curved them round as I've sewn them. So I've kept them quite curved so that they finish in that classic curved position of a scorpion when it's about to sting. Right, then with the fronts, you've got two arm pieces that create an arm and then your pincer will go on the end. So gather those in the same way. Sew it onto the end of there. You don't want to sew them too firmly. You do want a little bit of movement in them. So don't sew them really firmly together. There we go, so there's one complete. So once all the other pieces are assembled, the question, the, the bit that's unusual is how to get that to hold in the position of a scorpion. And all you're going to do is use your camel yarns, the same yarn that you've used to do your crochet. And we're actually going to slip stitch traverse between each piece. Um, so what that means is slip stitch in at the base of the first bead there when it comes off the bottom of the body. Like that. And then moving up the tail, do five into this one. So one two, three, four, and five. And then lift up the next bead. So your tail's gonna sit in the right position like that. And then slip stitch across onto the next one. Pull that nice and tight so there's not a big gap between the two. One, 
two, three, four and five and then do the same again. So jump onto the next bead, one, two, three, four and five. Same again, and you see how that's going to pull all, them all up so they'll sit in an upright position uh, like a scorpion that's about to sting. So same again. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I would just slip stitch into that last one there. So into the bottom of the longer one, the elongated one. Fasten that off. And that then holds your stinger up in that position above your body. So all you need to do now is um, sew on your two arms and pincers. So I'm going to gather the stitches there. And then once these are in place, the last thing to go in is just your legs. Now, I've got lots of ends to go in on my legs before I actually sew them into position. Um, so I've got a few ends to finish off there first. So all you're going to do with your legs then is put in all of your ends and um, face them in the direction that you wish them to be in. I think they look best moving forward. So you see when you put those little joins in, they will move forwards at an angle. So I just then sew those two into place and Blair the Scorpion is complete.